A few weeks ago, the Cobra Code community and I participated in an official game jam by Epic Games Japan. The topic was defeating enemies with a sword, and I decided to create a small 2D 3D hybrid button mashing minigame for the event. However, since I was moving apartments exactly that week, I only had about 5 hours to work on the project. I was also busy doing the translation for the event for the other teams who participated and I'll show off their projects as well at the end of this devlog. My project was highly inspired by those classic track and field games they used to have on old game consoles. You'd usually mash two buttons to build up speed and maybe have another button to jump over hurdles or execute other actions. To start out I created a blank project in Unreal Engine. I then imported my edited version of the warrior asset pack by Clambot into the engine. For this I'm actually outputting a JSON file from a sprite and importing it that way, which allows me to create all flipbooks with a single click. I actually have a tutorial coming up about this very soon, so make sure to subscribe to not miss it. Then I created a paper ZD character blueprint and set up the sprite in there. Paper ZD will need an animation source file and an animation blueprint to work properly, so I set that up as well. After that I start to work on the heart of the project, which is the button mashing system. This is actually not my first time making something like this, since the system I used for my DK bongo platformer was actually quite similar, in the way that the more you hit the bongos, the more speed you build up. I also made a prototype for the upcoming Udemy course for a simple masher game like this, where I'm actually using curves to make the mashing harder the more speed you already have built up to balance out the game. So this time around I decided to create this entire system as a plugin and an actor component, so I can really polish it up and use it for my upcoming projects as well. To make that possible I kept the plugin quite generic and you basically build up power by mashing those two buttons. You can then get the current amount of power from the actor component to decide the run speed for the character. But every button press also fires off an event dispatcher you could use for something like the eating contest minigame in South Park Chef's Love Shack for example. I also quickly put together a widget for debugging purposes which shows whenever a button was hit and what the current power level is at. Then it was time to create the enemy, which was pretty much the same process as setting up my character in the beginning. I also needed to add a sword slash attack to the player character which can trigger a hitbox and applies damage to the enemies. And of course I also had to add hit stop and camera shake when the sword attack hits to make attacks feel much more impactful. In this game I want to reward players for using their sword with the right timing, so in case you just bump into the enemy without attacking, you lose all of your speed and get stunned for a bit. The enemy would then also attack you to knock you back even further. For the map I again used the stylized medieval village I bought on the marketplace a long time ago. My plan was to create a spline that guides the character throughout the entire town and there was a great tutorial by Steven Phillips about that on the Unreal Engine community page. However with how little time I had left, I tried to just force the system into my game without taking the time to try to really understand how it actually works. And at first it didn't work out at all. After tinkering with it a bit more though, it did start to look promising, however at certain points in the map the system would just start to bug out again. So after messing around with it for about an hour I decided to just abandon the spline system altogether. Instead I just moved a bunch of the trees around to create a straight path that the character can run along. I then migrated the speed lines particle effect I made for Bullbeat over to this project and activated it for a bit after hitting an enemy. After that I also implemented a camera angle switch and a speed boost when successfully hitting an enemy. The last step was adding a few more particle effects and sound effects. And at that point I fulfilled the requirements for the game jam and finished up my small game in about 5 hours. At Unreal Fest 2023 they showed off some of the projects from the jam and there were some really cool projects as well. My game also got selected and shown off on stage which was really cool. Two more projects of the Cobra Code community were also shown at the event. The first project was Sushi Samurai which was created by a team of 3. They used the prototype hero by Swan Thole as the character and created a game where you need to slice up fish with proper timing to create sushi. The second featured project was Samurai Survival which was created by a solo dev. It's heavily inspired by vampire survivors and you take on hordes of enemies while leveling up your character and gaining new abilities. I want to say thanks to the organizers of this event and of course everybody in the Cobra Code community who participated. It was a pretty small turnout but it was still a great experience and I learned some things I should be able to apply once we create and host our own game jams in the future. As always thanks to my patrons for supporting the channel. 